Throughout this class, you'll need to show all of your work when solving equations and such, but we will be using the graphing calculator to check our answers. So here's an example of the intersection of two functions, a polynomial and a line, and we're going to find out where they intersect by using the graphing calculator. So to begin with, go to y equals, and then put the function negative x squared plus 5x plus 1. On the graphing calculator, there is a distinction between the negative sign and subtraction. So if you have a negative number, just a single negative number like negative x squared, use this. If you're subtracting two numbers like 5 minus 3, then use this. So we've got negative x squared and then plus 5x plus 1. And for the second function, it's an x minus 1. A good place to start when graphing is go to zoom. Number 6, standard. Standard means that x and y are going to range from negative 10 to positive 10. The y's also will range from negative 10 to positive 10. Now you can see there's two places that these functions intersect, right here and right here. To have the calculator find out where they intersect, we go to calc. So second calc. And there it is, number 5, intersect. The best and fastest way to do this is move the cursor close to where you think they intersect and hit enter, hit enter again, and a third time. And then it finds the intersection. I'm going to sketch the graph here. So we've got a parabola. looking like this, and a line with a slope of 1, which looks about like this, and we just found this intersection point to be negative 0.449 for the x value and negative 1.449 for the y value. All right, now let's find this other intersection point. So second, calculate. Number five for intersect. And now use the arrow key to move over to that other intersection point. Oh, a little too far. Back up. OK. And then hit Enter three times in a row. And so we've got this intersection point of 4.449 for the x value and 3.449 for the y value. And there are the two intersection points.